If you're writing a piece of music which is any length at all, it's good practice to include rehearsal marks. Rehearsal marks are text indicators of different sections of the music, so that whenever the band or the orchestra come to rehearse it, the conductor doesn't always have to start from bar 1, they can start at letter F or letter G or whatever. And including them in Sibelius is a very straightforward process, however there are one or two options that you want to be aware of. To demonstrate this, I'm going to put my score into panorama mode, which gives me a long continuous score like so. Now a good place to include rehearsal marks is at places like here, which is the start of where the tune comes in, the start of a new section. Or there's a different section there, or maybe a rehearsal mark, uh, maybe a repeat mark, um, or anywhere where something significant happens in your score. For demonstration purposes though, for this um, video, I'm just going to use the first 12 bars or so here, just so you can see clearly how the rehearsal marks work. So, the shortcut that you need to remember is very straightforward, it's Control R. R for rehearsal mark. And the way it works is you select the bar line that you want the rehearsal mark to appear at, run the shortcut, Control R, and there it appears. If I do another one over here, Control R, I get the next letter in the sequence. Over here, Control R, next letter again. If I decide I'm going to delete, a rehearsal mark, let's say a delete letter B, well the sequence stays intact because this over here becomes letter B. Similarly, if I put one in the middle between two rehearsal marks, the sequence always stays intact. So this changes to be letter C. If I put one over here, that would be, guess what, letter D. All the time I'm doing this, I'm just running the, the shortcut, Control R. So that's all well and good, and to be honest, 99% of the time, that's all you need to do, is pick a rehearsal mark, pick a place where you want a rehearsal mark, and run Control R. However, I did mention there are some options, so let's have a look at them. These are obviously text markers, so they're in the text tab, and there's the rehearsal marks group over here. First option I'm going to show you is this one here, which opens up the dialog box. And you can see there are different types of rehearsal mark you can use. At the moment it's set to be A to Z, and if you need any more, double A to double Z. And if you need any more than that, triple A onwards. You can make them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, in which case you won't run out of numbers. Or you can make it the bar number, which is actually a very common thing to do. Or various options. Instead of running A to Z, then double A to double Z, you could do A1 to Z1, A2 to Z2, etc. So, let's change it. Oh, you could even include your own specific prefixes and suffixes if you want. Why you'd want to do that is up for debate though. So let's change them at the moment to 1, 2 and 3. Now remember, we had them as A, B, C, D. So now whenever I change that, they change to 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's all nice. Um, it means that you, if you have put your letters in and you decide I prefer these to be the bar numbers for example, all you have to do is go into that dialog box and change the options. The other option to be aware of is the bottom half of this button. If I click on there, you see there are two options. The first one here, consecutive rehearsal mark, that's what we've been doing. But you have the option to restart the sequence. Let's say for example, over here, for some reason you decide you want to start at number two again. So you have a number two there, then three, then four, but you want to go back to two. Well that's how you would do that. You've got your restart sequence, change it from consecutive to start at, tell it where you want to start at, any of these other options you've got the option to do, but we're just going to click OK, that goes back to number 2. I've got now numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, and if I do another one over here, Control R, it carries on from there, give me the rehearsal marks in sequence. So that's a look at rehearsal marks. It's very good practice to use them, but be careful you don't use them too much, they just clutter up the score otherwise.